Hold on to me as we go As we roll down this unfamiliar road And though this way is stringing us along Just know you're not alone I'm gonna make this place your home have something that's way better and she sings it so naturally it's better than what I, whatever I would do. But, so this one's called uh, If I'm Your Everything. Let me get this 
train, your best friend Alan Kay pushed you down the slide today. Fell you cried, you ran away. What could make things worse? You had to see the nurse. Your blood stopped oozing, but the bruising and the shame won't wash away. So you cried to me, said I'm ill. Dress, walking down the aisle, expecting his big smile. Just one look, and then he'll sit ducks right out behind the choir. You fall to your knees, thought he was everything. Oh, please just hold your ground. No, this thing called life is burning to the ground. But if you wait, That I love, it's not your sin. I'm your everything. That's so beautiful. That's what I'm looking for. This is all things right through. Being strong, now to nothing after all. Everything worth dreaming for. Just leave you weak and want more. What's the use of things you say? You fell and cried to me. Just scream it out. Oh. Like the, she stopped bleeding, but the shame couldn't really wash away. And 
cheerleaders at that point crying out. It's like, you're my everything, um, and you're supposed to be, so I'm going to try to hold on and be strong through this. And so she makes it through, but then later on in her life, she's about to get married, and she's walking down the aisle, and the guy just bails. And once again, the person that she least expects to hurt her, the person that is closest to her, is the one that ducks out on her. Um, and you don't really know who she's talking to. Um, really, it's kind of a metaphor she's saying, and God, I thought, I thought, I thought you were like, this was part of your plan. You were supposed to be my everything. Um, and then you find out, it's like, no, that a lot of times that it, he is your everything, and the person still walks out on you, and you still end up getting diagnosed with cancer. You still lose your job, you still, whatever. But it doesn't change the fact that God is our everything, and no matter the bad circumstances, we have every reason to live every day with complete joy and complete fullness um, because of who he is and what he's already done, not because he provides really good circumstances for us. So that's what that one's about. Um, and uh, yeah, this next one is Civil Wars Falling. Uh, this is my favorite cover to do. Um, and uh, it's a really sad, pretty song. Um, if you've heard this song, it's about someone who is uh, falling out of love with the person they're with um, and trying to get them to uh, to let them go. And it's really sad, but um, really beautiful. So uh, this is so cool.
telling about the beer. I'm like, man, good thing, good thing she's out there. Or else it's not be good. Whatever. Um, this next song we're gonna do is a, a song that I wrote. It's called Untouchable Ghost, and um, I think everybody has situations in their life where uh, memories haunt you like a ghost, and um, sometimes uh, it's sometimes it's just too much, and uh, there's people in our lives that come and go and reappear as ghostly memories and sometimes um, that's really hard to deal with. So this is a chipper song about that. Uh, this is Untouchable Ghost. decided that this chair should be actually the best stand that we could find. I got this out of fun at a yard sale and it didn't come with a stand, so... Yard 
just gonna make it to home. But it came with a lot of love. I'm very hard to fall. Okay. Can you guys hear that? Does that remind you of Barney? That reminds me of Barney. I know. Let me put it a little closer. Can you? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Actually rest it on the xylophone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well done. Just gonna play something, I guess.
Nokia. Woo! Woo! Nice how we did. Yeah, yeah, so Gracie and Cameron original, that one. We wrote that. Yeah. Just now, like right before we played, right we're just like, I think we should do something original, and we wrote it just now. We'll yeah. sign autographs afterwards. It was, it was mostly me, but. I helped. <laughs> this next one is also one that we kind of decided to throw together yesterday. And it's one, become one of my favorite songs. And it really came out of Pandora, and I was like, oh, why did Twilight ruin this? But it didn't really. It's, just, it's still good. Yeah, it did. <laughs>
died every day waiting for you Darling, don't be afraid I have loved you for a thousand years Love you for a thousand more And all along I believed I would find you Time has brought your heart to me I have loved you for a thousand years Love you for a thousand more And I have died every day waiting for you Darling, don't be afraid I have loved you for a thousand years Thanks, y'all. What's this thing in for? She's great. See, I even messed that up and she followed me. It's a pro. I kind of followed She's great, right, kind of. I'll probably recognize this next one.
last time i just want to say thanks again for letting us play tonight Woo. thank you guys for listening thank you brendan the faithful friend who's uh doing a little video action right now and he was the he was, what was it, the roadie he's the roadie earlier he literally held his xylophone for like 20 minutes we just were chatting he's sitting there sweating like, Best didn't say anything ever pretty great pretty great guy how right it maybe
Anzeige. 